80% of the things that you worry about is worrying about things that you cannot control, right? Think about it. What are the things that you usually spend time worrying about? Do you worry about the fact that you got rejected by this girl? You worry about the fact, facts that things are happening in the world that you don't like or you disagree with. There's this president here or there and he does things that you don't like. It's usually things that you cannot directly control that occupy your mind, right? This is the cause for your misery in life. This is the, the, the reason that you are wasting away your time. This is the reason that your mental health is breaking down. Worrying about things that you cannot directly control. You cannot do anything about it, at least not directly. And yet it is occupying your mind, it is wasting away your time and it is making you miserable, right? Now here is the trick. Most people do it wrong. Most people, they try to stop worrying, right? How do I stop worrying? They go on Google and they search for tips. How do you stop worrying at night when you're lying awake, worrying about this and that? In extreme cases, people go to therapy. They need a licensed therapist to help them, to tell them to stop worrying. But the truth is, you will never stop worrying unless you do this one thing. Shift your worrying towards the things that you can control. That is the trick. You, you cannot stop worrying, right? Your mind will always think about something. The trick is not to want to quit worrying about things. The trick is to shift your worrying from the things that you cannot control onto the things that you can control. Because the more that you focus on the things that you can control in your life, the easier it becomes to accept the fact that there are things that you cannot control. Think about it. You probably know this. Just, just look at the people that spend the most time worrying about things that they cannot control. It is always, literally always, the people that don't take a lot of responsibility for their own lives, that spend the most time crying and worrying about things that they cannot control, right? Whether it is the extreme leftist SJWs protesting against the next current thing, the, the new president that they don't agree with, or a BLM or whatever the next current thing is, or something completely different, like the black pill virgin obsessing over the fact that hypergamy exists and oh my God, no guys, some men are more attractive than other men. So let's just, let's just give up on life, right? It's always the same pattern. The less responsibility someone takes for his own life, the less capable he is of accepting the fact that there are factors outside of his control the more that the factors that he cannot control end up ruining his life, right? The extreme SJW is unhappy, lives a miserable life because this person believes that these factors are just destroying the world and, and it's, it's literally destroying their mental health, right? The black pill virgin has a destroyed mental health because he genuine, genuinely believes that the world is a hopeless place, right? There's no point improving his life. Both of these people's lives, both of these examples, they have a ruined life. Their mental health is crushed because they cannot cope with the fact that there are factors that they cannot control in life, right? And then now try to look at a, an opposite example. Let's say we take a guy that wasn't that successful with women. Hmm? This guy has average looks. He's not a, a genetic super chat, but this guy takes responsibility for his own life and he starts working on the factors that he can control. So now we're talking about someone that consistently goes to the gym, that eats healthy food. He's working on his own business. He is ambitious and he's increasing his social skills because this guy's like, hey, yeah, you know, I was kind of awkward with women. My social skills weren't that great. So this is something I can improve. 
He spends a lot of time hanging out with his great friends. He focuses on the things that he can focus on, right? Have you ever seen a guy like this who's just moving ahead in life, consistently going to the gym, doing all the things I just mentioned, that is then suddenly sitting there alone in his room saying, Oh no, guys, why, why am I doing all of this? It's, it's, so, it's so pointless because some people are more attractive than other people, guys. Hypergamy exists, oh no. <laughs> Literally never, right? The only people that have like rather extreme black pill views like this are people that don't take responsibility for their own lives. Literally always, right? It's literally always guys that just sit there in their own room, being sad, eating unhealthy foods, not going to the gym, beating the meat to porn, watching anime, playing video games, right? Literally always. The reason they cannot accept... The reason they cannot accept the fact that there are factors they can't control is because they don't work on the factors they can control. Let me give you a very practical example of how to deal with this in real life. Let's say you are feeling sad because you know, whatever, you got rejected by a girl or something, right? Now, sure, to some extent, you are allowed to feel sad and to process what's going on. But so many people, they linger around in the feeling and they obsess more over this feeling than they should feel because really getting rejected is not such a big deal. But let's say you're feeling really bad about this. Literally, just go to the gym. Just get out of your room and start doing things. Go to the gym, hang out with your friends, work. Whatever it is, just do something that moves you forward in life and instantly, instantly you will see that it becomes easier to deal with the rejection or to deal with the fact that there is a, a president of a certain country that does things that you disagree with or whatever it instantly becomes easier to accept the fact that there are factors that you cannot control. This is the way to do it. Literally just go to the gym when you are feeling bad. So whenever you are feeling bad, you are worrying about things, ask yourself a simple question. Is this something that I can control? Yes or no? If the answer is yes, that's great. Then ask yourself, okay, so what do I actually have to do to exercise control on this thing and then actually start doing it, which is very important as well. And if the answer is no, this is something that I cannot control. Literally, just go to the gym. Start doing things that you can control. Start working towards your goals, start moving ahead in life.